Hello everyone, welcome to the project series of machine learning with Python. My name is Shiva Magarwal and in this series, we'll be creating a lot of projects related to machine learning, deep learning, and we'll be exploring the basic concepts of the usage of those two uh, with the projects itself. So we'll be starting with the basic projects that we'll be doing in this video. And uh, this will be the first part of the video where we'll discuss introduction, uh, what the project is all about, what the data is all about that we have. And in the coming video, we'll see uh, how to make the project from the scratch. So every project will be based in two parts, will be divided. Uh, the first will be the introduction and the second will be the creation of the project. So I'll recommend that uh, you watch both the videos simultaneously. So you know what the project is about and you know how to uh, create the projects using uh, the, the functions and the uh, modules present in the Python for machine learning and deep learning. So with the basics, let's start in this video. This will be the first project. So this will be project one. Let me label it as project one. The project name that we are going to create today is credit risk prediction. So let me explain a bit about it. So in banks, when the customer approaches for credit loans, the banks verify their credentials based on their credit. Okay. So there are a lot of credentials present with the banks for the customers. Banks are required to uh, process the results such that they know whether a person would be able to pay back the loan or not. This is what we are going to do in the project. So we are going to predict whether a customer will be a defaulter. That is, he will not be able to pay the loan or he will be a successful payer. Right. So we'll be starting with the data set that we have. Then we go to clean the data set. Then we are going to plot some plots so that we know what different variables in the data are all about. Next, we'll create the model and next we'll try to test the model on the accuracy parameter. Okay. So this will be the uh, approach for all the videos for all the projects that we are going to make. However, some projects might differ in some of the steps because they might be lengthy. This is one of the most basic projects that are going to create because this is the first project. After this project, you will be knowing that how to use machine learning and deep learning for project creation. I'll be using multiple ways to uh, create the model, not just one or two algorithms, but more algorithms so that you know the working of all of those. And we'll try to find out which fits our model the best. Okay. So let us start with the data set. So this is Kaggle community platform. As you can see, this is Kaggle community platform. It is a very good place for beginners in data science or machine learning because it has a lot of data data sets and you can create a notebook right here right so i'll recommend that you go to kaggle.com i'll mention the link in the description box go and create account over there don't forget to verify your phone numbers because when you verify your phone number you get a lot of more options on the kaggle platform right so uh, when you have created your account you will be able to see this data set. I'll put this link also in the description box. This is credit risk analysis for extending bank loans. Okay, so this data set was created two years ago by Atul Mittal. And this data set is all about, these are the objectives, marketing aspect, application performance and bad debt management. So let us see what this, this data is all about. So this is will be a CSV file. You can call it uh, like a Excel spreadsheet or Google Sheets, it will have some columns which will have some values. The values might be string or numbers based on the uh, data set only. Okay, let us see what kind of columns it has. Here you can see it has age, employee ID, employee ID, the employee income. So employee income will be a very useful feature. Address will be a useful feature. Debt to income ratio, this is debt income, debt income ratio credit to debt ratio, some other debts and whether the user is a defaulter or not. So bank has provided us with all these parameters. Let us see in the data set. So the first value will be age. The second value will be educational level, right? Next will be work experience. That is the experience of a user in the field that he is working and he is getting salaried or something like that. And we have address values. We have income in 100,000, right? This income is in uh, $1,000. This is debt to income ratio. This is credit to debt ratio, some other debts. And finally, we have our 
classification as whether he or she is a defaulter or not right so we'll try to look at this data set more when we code because uh, currently it is difficult to analyze what this data set is all about let us see whether this data set is usable or not so it has over 8000 views on kaggle and over a thousand downloads so this data set is quite useful however there are not many contributions so we'll be among the first ones to use the data set on Kaggle. I'll be using the Kaggle community platform only for creation of the project also. Why? Because when you create a local virtual machine for any project, you will have to install a multiple dependencies. You don't know that you are going to work with those dependency anymore or not. So I'll be using Kaggle so that I don't have to install any dependencies. I don't have to install any external uh, modules for Python. This will provide me all those necessities. The second reason being that machine learning requires a lot of hardware. Okay, so you require GPU, you, you require high core CPU, you require high amount of RAM. Okay, but Kaggle community platform provides maybe 25 to 30 GB RAM for free. A high quality GPU also made by Nvidia or Tesla and we get a complete CPU for processing, right? So Kaggle is already providing me all the resources that I need for machine learning. So I will not be creating those projects on local machine on Jupyter Notebook, but I'll be creating everything on Kaggle Notebook. And I'll also mention the link to the notebook in the description so that you can also see that. I'll also recommend you that in the beginning, when you are a beginner, you might use Kaggle uh, as your platform for your machine learning model because it will provide you with all the necessities and it will reduce the risk of any hardware failure on your own device. Okay, so that is it about this introduction towards credit risk analysis. We'll meet in the other video and start to create the project from the scratch itself. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Meet in the second video.